What's up LNC fam? Welcome back to another video, part two. Uh, building this monster for the Mustang. We're doing the white body body kit. So in part one, we did the front end. In part two, we're gonna start installing the rear quarter panels. We'll cut them up and install the white body kit, secure everything, and should be good to go. So enjoy the video and let's get to work. The same thing, cut the quarters. Uh, make it fit and then we have to do a little bit of uh, welding and sheet metal on the back so slightly a little bit more trickier compared to the front end but yeah we'll tape everything up right now and start measuring and doing all that fun stuff so everything is taped and ready to go so now we could start test fitting this uh, panel and here is my surgery tools to do the job yep so let the fun begin Alright, right now we just taped the panel, seeing how it's gonna look, and I'm gonna install this 3 inch spacer and put the wheel just to see how much I gotta cut. So I just installed the spacer and I put the wheel back on just to see what it's gonna look. Wow, that's gonna be really aggressive. Love it. So yeah, I gotta cut all this out so the wheel though doesn't rub or anything like that so yeah i'll start doing my measurements right now and get this thing rocking and rolling Alright, so I just did my measurements, so I need to cut all this stuff out in order for the wheel to have clearance and that should be it, so let's start cutting it, should be fun. Alright, 
so I removed the tire, the wheel, fender liner, so yeah, I gotta cut through all this and then the metal inside as well. So yeah, it should be fun. So I cut the outer quarter panel, so now I need to cut the inner, and I did my marks. So like this, cut it out, and this way we have plenty of room. So we cut the inner and outer quarter out. So I need to uh, cut this one a little bit more so it's all straight. And then we're gonna put a sheet metal inside and weld, weld it in as well. So it's all covered up. And then we'll put some uh, undercoating. All right guys, so I just arrived to the sheet metal store. So I got my little sample with me and I'm gonna go inside and find exactly the same metal so we could weld it to the Mustang. So we got industrial metal supplies in Irvine, California. So let's go inside and find the metal. Big store, they pretty much got everything here. Find what we need. So it looks like I need this one, eighteen JA. All right, that looks like it. Right. So I got the sheet metal, so we could head back to the shop and cut it and start welding it. Wasn't too bad at all, only uh, $17, pretty good price overall. Okay, I got the sheet metal, I cut it in two pieces, one for the right, one for the left. And my dad's gonna be assisting me because he need two people. So we're just gonna go around and it. weld it. And then, yeah, seal it and ready to rock and roll. Okay, we're done with welding, so we welded solid piece so nothing gets into the quarter panels. So right now I marked it, I'm gonna cut this off, this lip, 
make it flush and then we'll tack it again and then we'll put primer uh, caulking over here or a sealer and then we'll uh, primer the whole thing and put undercoating yeah something like this coming out slowly I just marked all my holes that I had to drill out so it's gonna go around and I did a five and a half gap on top so yeah something like this slowly coming together and this is it right here as well so it looks perfect Okay, everything drilled out so now we'll put those nuts nutsers in there just like this and it's ready to go so yeah all you do is put it like this and then you squeeze it boom and that's in Well, nice and clean and then we'll screw our bolts in and ready to go okay so I installed all my nut certs so everything looks good so now I could just put the side panel and it should just line up with my screws okay right now I'm gonna use black primer to primer everything whatever we weld and grind so there's no rust later on and then after once it dries up I'll put sealer everywhere and then after sealer I'll put undercoating so it looks nice and clean and that's it Okay, I just put the white sealer everywhere. The water is not taking nowhere anymore. And I'm gonna use this uh, undercoating. Spray the whole bottom of it. So it looks nice and clean. Okay, we're finished with undercoating. And that's how it came out, nice and clean. So no water, no rust, nothing's gonna get in there now. Now I'm ready to install the panel and there is the panel all the holes are drilled already and ready to go so we'll start installing it now
And we're officially finished with the right side. Everything came out nice and clean. Everything bolts on. So we'll start doing the other side now. But yeah, it looks pretty good. Really happy with this panel as well, with this whole body kit. Okay, so now we'll start with this side. We're gonna do the same thing. Tape everything, mark everything, and then cut. So yeah, let's get it. Okay, I just made my measurements. This is the new panel where it's gonna sit. So now I gotta measure this part out and cut it out. So we'll start doing that. Just did my measurement, so once again I gotta cut it all of this out and then the inner and I'll remove the fender liner right now so I have more access and we'll start cutting.
All right, so we weld the plate in. So right now I'm gonna clean everything up. Cut this off the lip. Then I'm gonna primer everything. And then put the sealer and then under coating. And it should be good to go. I just put the sealer everywhere, like the other side. So it's all dry and ready to go. So I'll use this rubber sealer once again. Rubber undercoating and should be good to go. done with the back end as well so everything looks nice and clean and I installed the old fender liner so everything is covered front yes I did install the fender liner everything looks nice and clean like factory and then on the sides on the edges I put this special rubber piece so it looks nice and clean as well and then there's not going to be any rust because the fenders are aluminum so we don't have to worry about that so yeah something like this nice and clean and you got your fender liner so yeah finish with the Mustang Mr. Johnny guy do a quick wash and detail and ready to go damn this thing looks sick All right, guys, that's a wrap for part two. Stay tuned for part three. Uh, we're gonna get the car wrapped completely. That's why we didn't paint the panels. So stay tuned for that, for the final. Then we'll take the car for a little joyride. Make sure everything works good, but so far, so good. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys subscribe. Hit the thumbs up if you guys like the video. If you don't, still hit the thumbs up. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.